Hello guys, it is the second video of our in-app billing library version 7 series and in the previous video we tested the implementation of our billing library version 7 in the live project and in this video we are going to implement it into the new project and we'll see the implementation steps. Before starting the video, let me tell you the features and prerequisites for this video. So some silent features of our code is it uses best Android practices with great performance and it uses background task for long running operations. And also there is no need to write even a single line of code. You can implement this code into your project without even writing a single line. It is a dynamic code and you can add any number of products from play console directly into your app without changing the code. You don't need to send the updates in your app. Uh, this code can handle it by itself. It is multiple time tested and from last three years, multiple developers are using old version of this code in their live projects. And there is not a single report of a bug in this code. It is a bugs free code. It auto support multiple devices as I have shown in my first demo video. It is available in both language Kotlin and Java. In app one time products also work in similar way. So you will get the idea how to implement in app one time products. And you can ask me for help at any time. Contact details is given in the description. Prerequisites are app on play store you should have at least one app on the play store in which you want to sell the subscription so let's begin with the implementation steps there are only five steps and in these five steps you can implement the in-app billing library into your project without even writing a single line of code so our first step is create subscription in play console in the new way google has changed the way how we create subscription in the play console so let's go to our play console and see how can we create new subscription for creation of new subscription, click on this create subscription button give a product ID. Let's suppose it is for ads removal. So we can give a ID like add removal app and give it a name. And click on the create button. Now you can create any number of base plans inside this ads removal subscription. Let's suppose you want to give the user ability to remove ads from app by subscribing or paying sub subscription fee. So you can create one plan for it and inside that you can create multiple base plans with different amounts and different time duration. So it is our parent plan and inside it I will create multiple base plans. So let's create a base plan ID test base plan and auto renew will be true oh sorry here underscore is not allowed we can use the hyphen billing you can select the duration you can select any appropriate option from here and then you can define the grace period account hold period all these things after that you can set the price here you can click on this set prices button you can select the countries all countries then click on the set price and here you can choose your currency i have selected inr you can select any currency you want and you can write down the price let's suppose 500 and update it will auto generate the price in multiple currencies now you can click on the save or discard button and if you click the save button it will create a base plan inside your parent plan. So I have already created some base plans and parent plans for my project so I am clicking on the discard. You can click on the save to create the base plan. Here I already have a parent plan named name ads remover and two base plans therefore I have not created a new plans in your project you need to create the base plan and parent plan after that you have to copy the id of the parent plan name and removal and you will need this project id during implementation steps so so we have completed our step one now let's go to the step two implement the sdk to demonstrate this step I have created a new project named my application it is a new project and I created it for illustration purpose which resembles the current state of your application. In this project I have created two activity named main activity and splash screen. 
in the splash screen the layout file is simple it is just a splash screen and it redirects the user to the main activity and here inside main activity we don't have any code and in the layout file i have added a button and a text view and here is a sync purchase button this subscribe here button will behave like the button in your application on which you want to add the click to show the subscriptions product and this text view is here to indicate the current subscription state of the user so in this project for premium user we will change the text of this text box you can use the same logic to provide the subscription benefits to the users in your real world project so let's start with the implementation here first we have to add some dependency in our build.grader file for this let's move to the source project named in app subscription kt from this project we will copy some dependency from build.grader file so copy the billing library 7 dependency paste it inside the new project and one more this crash analytics we will copy it and paste it here it is showing us it is showing us warning to convert it to a version catalog we will simply click on it and it will create dependency in standard form it will paste our dependency inside this lips.version file here it is billing and firebase dependencies click on the sync now button and it will download these both dependencies for us in our project so that's all for the second steps now we have implemented the sdk in our project successfully now let's move on to the coding part or we can say just a copy paste part to implement the in-app purchases in your project you don't need to write even a single line of code you just have to copy and paste the code from the source project into your project so let's start the part here we will go to the main activity and here we need to define the on click listeners on our button for that i will just simply go to our source project and here inside the main activity i will copy this button and on click listener code let's copy it in our new project here okay copy it from here and paste it inside our new project it is show some errors don't worry we will implement all these methods soon we have to call this set text method as well and we will copy this billing client and paste it here it is the main billing client which will be responsible for all the purchase flow now let's copy the required methods we will copy all these methods and paste it inside our project it is showing us some error because it requires some layout dependencies so let's quickly paste them to so in our source project let's go to the layout section and copy the list item and subscription alert and paste it inside our layout folder and now we will open the string file and from here we will copy these both keys and here we will copy it inside our string file now this inside this product id you have to define your product id which you created inside the play console so it is the product id we created for ads removal subscription we will copy it and we'll paste it inside our application and you can paste any number of product id here our code is capable of handling any number of product id automatically without requiring any change at program level we can just simply write any number of product id with any number of base plans here and our code will automatically handle all these product ids with their base plans let's suppose you have a one product id for ads removal another one for uh, let's say coins sale coins sale and uh, another one for uh, any premium access any premium product so you can add multiple ids here and our code will automatically handle all these product ids you don't have to manage them manually from the code for now we only have a one product id so we will write only one here now if we go to our main activity we can see all errors are resolved so we have successfully implemented the code in our main activity now let's close all these tabs 
some activity also and let's go to the splash screen and here we will define the code as per the source project here we will open our splash screen activity and expand it and just copy the check purchases function and call it inside the on create in the splash screen now we will copy these functions and companion object from splash screen and paste it here so now we have successfully implemented in app billing library version 7 in our project it is as simple as this so you have successfully implemented in app billing library version 7 in your project by which you can earn a lot of money from your android apps and you have implemented this feature without even writing a single line of code just copy paste one so now we have successfully implemented the code in our project so we have completed first three steps now the only steps are left for testing and running the project so let's run the project and see if all implementation is working perfectly or not i'm going to run it on pixel 8 pro and api level 35 which is the latest version as of now so i am running the project and here our project is ready to test so let's click on the subscribe here button and on clicking on it it has displayed all the available base plans here as we defined in our play console here the ads removal for one year and six months it is showing here and on clicking on the buy button it is displaying the purchase card and on clicking of it it has successfully striped us and purchase completed successfully toast is created now if i close the dialog the text of this text box has been changed and it is now showing you are a prime user so our implementation is working successfully and we have also run and test the project and to test it properly you can refer our video part one link is given in the description now let's talk about some important points regarding the implementation so here in this sample implementation i have implemented the code inside main activity and splash activity but if in the real project if you don't have splash activity then you can simply call this check purchase method inside any activity or the application class also the main motto of calling this method is to check the user's purchase or the subscription status so you just have to call this method before calling the subscription and sync purchases method inside any activity so if you don't have any splash activity in your app so just don't worry you can call this check purchase method and all these methods inside any activity so you can call it inside main activity and or you can call it inside application class as well and i have seen many people asking about the sync button this sync button is useful for handling outside purchases as i have explained in my first video although in most cases it is handled automatically by play store and billing sdk but in some cases if user is facing the syncing problem then he or she can utilize the sync purchase button to sync the purchases across multiple devices so that's all for this video we have implemented the in-app subscription in our app in the five very easy steps without even writing a single line of code so if you like the video please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching